What's up guys, this is a text bot and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 14 all the way up to iOS 14 beta with the check rate jailbreak. The devices that are supported by this jailbreak will be listed on the screen right now. So those devices that are currently supported, more device support will be coming in the future. This is just kind of the initial release. And yeah, this jailbreak will support all the way up to the iPhone 10. Anyways, the way this jailbreak works is that it is a hardware based exploit. So no matter no matter what version of iOS these devices are on, and they will inevitably be jailbreakable in the future. They just have to tweak the jailbreak, update a few things here and there, and boom, the jailbreak then supports all these devices, which is super awesome. Apple cannot patch this. Anyways, I have an iPhone 6S over here, and it's got to repair it, so that's why I just took the plastic off. It is running iOS 14. If I head over to general and then about, you guys can see it is running iOS 14. And also, I do have the app library. I can see that. I can also add widgets. Let me go ahead and put this in wiggle mode. Anyways, you guys can see this is indeed iOS 14. Now, we're going to be jailbreaking it, get some more freedom. And with a jailbreak, you can theme your icons without having like shortcuts. So it's actual like themes. You can install tweaks and just modify the entire experience. Just make it so much better. You can have a little goose running around on your iPhone and so much more. Now, I will be showing you guys two methods to use the check range jailbreak. The first is using a computer. Yes, for the jailbreak, you will be needing a computer. Now, only Mac computers are supported at the moment. So if you guys want to know how to use this jailbreak on Windows, there's a little bit of a workaround. So my full video on how to jailbreak using Windows will be down below in the description. But anyways, again, this jailbreak is made for Mac. So it's a lot easier to do on Mac. So that's what I'll be doing here today. And again, that is the first method. Now, the second method is using this thing right here. It's called a rain box. Okay, you guys need to hear that tactile click. Oh yeah, it just sounds real, real nice. But anyways, you can see you got a USB port right there, an ethernet port, and then we got another USB port right there. We got micro SD, a micro USB slot, and a headphone jack. But yeah, this device is really cool. It's really easy to use. So I'll be showing you guys how to use this as well. So you can basically get your jailbreak up and working without a computer. This little device has everything built in. And yeah, there's also a $5 discount that I'll have down below. So yeah, if you want to get this, it's a little fun little device to play around with. But anyways, first let's go to jailbreak using our Mac. So, all right, so I do have my Mac over here. And first thing you wanna do is plug your device into your computer using the lightning cable. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I do need an adapter on my Mac to plug in my iPhone. Super annoying, but it'll just have to do. All right, so now that we're plugged in, if your device does pop up with something like trust this computer, then all you guys wanna do is tap on trust, type in your passcode, and then your computer is trusted and will show up on your Mac. All right, so anyways, once we are plugged in, what you wanna do is open up your internet browser, and you guys can see this is the iOS 14 check range jailbreak. If I scroll down, these are, again, the devices that are supported, the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and the iPhone SE, the iPad 5th generation, iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 4, iPad Pro 1st generation, and Apple TV 4 and 4K. And so, yeah, to go to this jailbreak, what you want to do is scroll down and you can see it says release page. I'm going to click on right there and you'll be brought to a new page right here. This is the release for the jailbreak that we want to download. So you guys can see download for Mac OS. Go ahead and click on that button and click on allow. So there we go. So there it is. All we're going to do is double click right here. And yeah, so we can go and exit out of internet browser. Yeah, I can see this pops up over here. All we got to do is drag and drop check range to the applications folder. I already have this folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. And there we go. So now once that is done, go and open up the applications folder. And by the way, you can go and exit out of here. Anyways, search for check rain. It should be somewhere over here. It should be at the top. There it is. So what you want to do is control click on it. So hold down on the control button on your keyboard and then click on check rain. It'll bring up this menu. Click on open. And you guys can see on Mac OS Catalina, it's a little bit more protected, which is super annoying at times. But anyways, I can see it says open your Mac, choose Apple menu, system preferences. So let's go to system preferences so I can click on the Apple logo, click on system preferences. And what you want to do, if we can first can hit cancel on this, is go to security and privacy. We're going to click on the unlock button to make changes. I have to just going to use my touch ID or type in your password. And anyways, once unlocked, what you want to do is click on the first tab, which is called general. 
And over here, you guys can see where it says allow apps downloaded from. You have App Store, App Store, and Identify Developers. And then you guys can see Checkrain right here was blocked from use because it is not from a identified developer. Anyways, this is basically because it's from the web. And so all you gotta do is click on open anyway. And it's like this, you wanna click on open again over here. And boom, just like that, it opens up. So we can X out of our system preferences over here. And this says check range. So it is beta 0.11.0. That is the latest version for iOS 14. Anyways, you guys can see my device is connected right here. The iPhone 6S iOS 14.0 connected to normal mode or in normal mode. Anyways, all you gotta do is click on start and click on next and it'll start putting our device into recovery mode. Yeah, I can see that right over here. Anyways, so it'll take a second. You'll see the app logo and then it'll be brought to this screen and that's how you know you're good to go. Now I'll bring up a new screen over here and check rain. And basically I want you guys to read through these steps to make sure you have it down because as soon as we hit start, you don't have to follow the steps. So all that is telling us to do is press and hold the lock button and the home button at the same time simultaneously. And then one step three lights up, that's where we're gonna go let go of the lock button and keep on holding down on the home button. So all right guys, here we go. I'm gonna click on start and hold down on both these buttons. So again, the lock button and the home button. And as soon as the step three lights up, I'm gonna let go of the lock button and keep on holding down on the home button. And now we just gotta wait, three, two, and there you go. I can see DFE mode was entered successfully. And now it's putting through the joke break. We should get a little boot logo on our iPhone 6s or whatever device that you have here in a second. But anyways, I just want to show you guys the entire process right here. It should be pretty quick. Yeah, you can see now it's booting back up and look at that. That just looks so, so cool. We got the Apple logo now and we are basically almost done. I can see I asked for my passcode. I'm going to go ahead and log back in. And now if I go in and swipe over, you yeah, can see check range should be somewhere over here. Uh, I'm not seeing it. So I guess we don't have check range again. Let's go and try this process again here in a second. So, all right. So let's go and hit done. And you can see it still shows normal mode. So let's go and hit start again. Hit next, it'll put our device back into the recovery mode. Okay, and just like that, we are back in the recovery mode. Now again, let's go and do the same steps. So I'm gonna hit start, hold down both the lock and home button at the same time. And as soon as step three lights up, let go of the lock button and keep on holding down on the home button. So it's gonna wait for that. And all right, successfully. We are done. It's gonna wait to see if it works this time. Again, this was just released, so um, it might be a little bit glitchy, so it might take a few tries, but you guys see, we do get the verbose boot right there. Kind of bright, but yeah, you guys can see the, all the lettering and the code. And so yeah, it's gonna wait. And it's like that, we are back on our device. I entered my passcode and uh, I don't see check rain. Oh, wait, oh, whoa, okay, this is weird. Okay, so I was just looking up, about to research some stuff, all right? Just to make sure that this is a supported device and it just randomly popped up. So I guess you should be patient, especially on these older devices. They're a little bit slower, but yeah, yeah I can see that did pop up. So I recommend just waiting about like five to 10 minutes and it should pop up on your device automatically. Just leave your device plugged in, all right? And there we go. So now we can exit out of the jailbreak client. We don't need it anymore. So I'm just gonna command Q that. And all right, so I can exit out of here and put my laptop to the side. Okay, so that was a bit confusing, but yeah, I can see it did work. It just randomly popped up on my device. Luckily it did. I thought this jailbreak for a second was not working. Anyways, I'm gonna go and open this up. Yeah, I can see there's Cydia right there. All you gotta do is tap on it, install Cydia. And now it's installing Cydia, which is basically what we're going to be using to install all our tweaks and themes to modify our device and customize it to be just the way we want it to be. All right, so this part might take a little bit of time. Just be patient. And boom, just like that, we now have Cydia. Let's go ahead and tap on it to open it up. And you guys can see that it's loading up. Let's go ahead and wait a little bit longer. This is the first time Cydia is opening up, so it's going to take a little bit of time. And a boom, just like that, Cydia did load up, yeah, I can see. And if I zoom in right here, it says the iPhone 8.1, which is what they call the 6S. But anyways, I would recommend doing a complete upgrade. But anyways, you can see it's iOS 14.0. So anyways, I would tap on complete upgrade and just hit confirm. These are just basically Cydia, things Cydia needs just to be uh, very stable and just work. This is really cool. I can't believe iOS 14 is really jailbreakable. 
Of course, more device support will be coming in the future. As I did mention earlier, this jailbreak will support up to the iPhone 10. And if you are on a newer device, don't worry, we will have a new jailbreak, another one for those devices as well. So yeah. Anyways, now let me show you guys how to jailbreak using the Rainbox. So this little device right here, it's really pretty cool. So again, okay, I did not mention this. Okay, this jailbreak right here, but this checkmate jailbreak, every time you turn your device off or it dies, and you turn it back on, basically once you go to tap on Cydia, it will just crash, okay? It will not open up, it'll just crash. So just as long as your device does not die or reboot, this will not happen. But yeah, if that does happen, basically what you have to do is just rerun the jailbreak. Now, if you use a computer method, you have to have computer on you all times so if you want to have a jailbreak running. But if you have this device, you can basically jailbreak on the go and get your jailbreak up and working again. Now, once you're gonna reboot your device and turn it back on, or again, if it dies and turns back on, you will basically be back to stock iOS. So yeah, everything will work perfectly fine except for your jailbreak. This will just crash. All your tweaks and themes will not be currently enabled. So again, you do have to rerun the jailbreak, which is why this device comes in handy. Just leave it in your car. And yeah, let me show you guys how to use it. Anyways, the first thing that we need to do is update the software on this device. So to do that, you do need to hook it up to an ethernet cable and this is one time. So I just plugged it into my router, the ethernet cable, and it's the back over here. So you guys can see, again, the ethernet plugs right in and we're good to go on that part. Now for the next part, you will need a micro USB cable that is plugged into power. So you can either use a portable power bank like I'm going to do, or you can plug this side into the Apple power brick and all you need is power. So it's gonna plug in the micro USB cable into the other side over here. All right, so it is plugged in. You actually micro USB on that side and the ethernet on that side. Anyways, I'm gonna go and turn on my power bank and now give it a little bit time to boot up. You guys can see it pops up with check rain. So you guys can see there's also a little light that blinks right there. This is what the menu looks like. It says, welcome to rain box. All right, so basically the left button is to go up in the menu. This button in the middle is to go down and the very right one is select. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on any one of these buttons or tap on the middle one. You guys can see it brings this up. The first option it says verbose boot. So you wanna make sure that is checked. So again, the second button is down, so let's go down. And there's no safe mode that we need to enable right now. So let's go down. This next one is auto shutdown. And again, if you wanna turn any of these on or off, all you gotta do is press on the select button, which is the third button. And anyways, what you wanna do is scroll down and click on check for update. So again, hit the right button and it's gonna go in and check for the update. So all you gotta do is select yes. So that's a left button now since yes is on the left and no is on the right, so there we go, and now it's updating. So, really simple to use, it's gotta take a little bit to get used to. Okay. Now it's updating, let's go and wait. And you guys can see it is still blinking and everything. Um, there it is, boom, so yeah. Just wait for it to turn back on. And boom, you guys can see it just turned back on, and it comes up with this. Welcome to Rainbox, it's the same menu, and we are good to go, so again, Let's head right back in and I'm gonna go and click to my iPhone now. So we can unplug the ethernet. All right, so again, you can power on the device using a portable battery or plug it into the Apple brick using a micro USB cable, you just plug it into the back. And yeah, so we don't need the ethernet cable anymore as we just updated it. So that part is good. We don't have to plug it in again unless there's a new update that we need. Okay, so nifty little device. All I gotta do now is plug in my USB cable or lightning cable into here and plug the other end into my iPhone and it might ask you to trust this as well. So again, on your device, if it says trust, just tap on the trust pop-up, type in your passcode and you should be good to go. I'm gonna kind of prop this up so you guys can see that screen better. You guys can see that does say Apple device found. It's gonna hit this button to go back or start and you guys can see now it's starting. It's putting my device in recovery mode and yeah, so I can see my iPhone right there in the background. Again, same thing. It brings up that screen right there again. Be ready to press DFV button sequence. So now comes the part where we have to hold down the home button and the lock button at the same time. And they let go of the lock button and keep on holding down the home button. It'll have like a little countdown. It'll say stage one. That is basically where you hold down both these buttons. And then stage two is when you let go of the lock button and keep on holding down on the home button. So you guys can see 
It does say booty check rain. But yeah, guys, just like that, the jailbreak is going through. It's probably not going to successfully work because this device is already jailbroken. But that's just how it works. Pretty simple and easy to use. Anyways, again, we will be seeing a jailbreak for newer devices as well. I'll keep you guys posted on that. And I'll make update videos as well on the iOS 14 jailbreak and the status for newer devices as well, like the i11 Pro Max and newer iPads and all that good stuff. And then after that, I will have videos on what you can do with the jailbreak, different modifications and customizations customization and it's just super easy to do and you guys will be amazed you could get a moving wallpaper or you can even get a little goose on your iphone as well so it's really cool i'll have videos coming on that as well so stay tuned anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video this is the tech spot enjoy your ios 14 jailbreak and stay tuned for many more updates on this jailbreak and many others it would mean the world if you would hit that like button and subscribe for tons more videos enjoy the rest of your day peace out